let us again do some examples of dividing by decimals okay so let us take the first question the question is 523 divided by 1.25 okay now when you're dividing uh, by uh, a decimal it's always good to make it a whole number so I'm going to do this in stages so that you understand what's happening so I'm going to double this so I'm going to double this so I'll also double this so this will become uh, this is 1000 double of 500 is 1000 double of 2 stands for 20 so let me write so this is 1000 for double of 5 is a double of 500 is 1000 double of 20 is 40 and double of 3 is 6 so this is double is 1046 it's always good to do side works like this so 1046 divided by 2.5 double of 1.25 is 2.50 or 2.5 so now i'm going to double this again so if i double this by 2 i'd also double this by 2 so what will happen so this is again let me do show the working here double of this is 1046 a so double of 1000 is 2000 double of this 4 stands for 40 so double of 40 is 80 and this 6 stands for 6 so 6 times 2 is 12 so this is 2092 so this is 2092 divided by 5 okay now here again I'm going to double it so I'll get a 10 so double of 2000 is 4000 double of 9 9 stands for 90 so which is 180 and double of 2 is 4 so this is 4 this is 8 so this is 4184 divided by 10 okay now here again you may find it difficult how are you going to divide by 10 I'm going to write the next step like this. So this is 4184.0 divided by 10. So when you're dividing by 10, what happens is the decimal place, this is becoming one tenth. You're making one tenth of this. Or you're dividing by 10 means you're making one tenth. So what happens to the decimal point is the decimal point moves to the left or if you want if you don't like that explanation this is becoming one tenth so what is one tenth of this so basically this will move the number moves the decimal point remains here the number this number moves to the right or the decimal point moves to the left whichever way you understand so the answer here is 418.4 4. So the answer is 418.4 let's check this on a calculator so I have this calculator you can get any calculator so this is 523 divided by 1.25 which is 418.4 that's what we got okay let us move on let us do the next question the next question is 1.2 divided by 1.25 okay so yeah the same strategy I'm going to double this so I'm going to double this so I'd also double this so double of 1.2 is 2.4 divided by 2.5 again double this if you double this you have to also double this so this is this is double of 2 is 4 and double of 0.4 is 8 so this is 4.8 divided by 5. Now here, when you're doubling, you have to be careful. So double of 4 is 8, 8.0, and double of 0.8 is 1.6. So this is 9.6 divided by 10. Okay, now this is equal to, I'm going to write this as 0. 
or zero nine this zero is a placeholder so if you write a zero here it doesn't you can write any number of zeros now I need only one zero oops let me write this better so this is zero nine point six divided by ten when you're dividing by ten you're making this one tenth so if you want to make this one tenth I and this I remember it like this this decimal point moves one place to the left some people don't like this explanation that's the same thing as saying this number moves to the right so that is nothing but 0 0.96 or if you think in a different way this is this is or how can you check this if you multiply 0 0.96 times 10 gives you 9.6 okay so let's take this on a calculator so the question was 1.2 divided by uh, 1.25 so 1.2 divided by 1.25 is 0 0.96 okay let us finish off with the last question which is slightly lengthy okay so uh, the next question is 136.8 divided by 1.25 divided by 1.25 let us use the same strategy double this I'm going to double this so you have to double also this so this is 2.5 this is double of 1 1 stands for 100 so which is 200 3 stands for 30, that is 60, and 6 stands for 6, that is 12, and this is 0 0.8, double of 0 0.8 is 1.6, so this is 2 plus 1, 3.6, this is 273.6 divided by 2.5, you have to be very careful, okay, next stage, you're multiplying, you're multiplying I want to multi I want to double this by 2 so also double this by 2 so this is obviously 2.5 here be careful double of 2 is double of 200 which is 400 double of 7 stands for 70 which is doubles is 140 3 doubles to 6 so this is 0, 0.0.0, .0, .0 and this is 1.2. So this is 7.2. This is 4.547.2 divided by 2.5. Again, doubling it. So let me change color. So double this. So same way, double this. It's a long process, but it's good rather than doing it uh, in the long division way so now double of phi phi stands for 500 so that is 1000 4 stands for 40 so double of 40 is 80 7 doubles to 14 and this is 0 0.4 so this is 1094.4 this is also good practice of doubling which is very useful in maths uh, divided by uh, I made a mistake here 2.5 doubles to 2.5 doubles to 5 and 5 doubles to 10 and now as we saw you have to make this 10 times smaller so that is 1000 no 109.44 is the final answer 1,049.44 so let's check the question on a calculator so the question was uh, 136.8 divided by 1.25 which is 109.44